hi friends so now that we have talked about the tangent and normal of a curve we are ready to talk about uh, some other properties so in this video we are going to look at the second derivative of the curve along the arc length so and we'll see that this uh, derivative has some special properties so let's first find out what this derivative looks like so we already know that cs is given by um, is given by something like x theta y theta upon the magnitude of c theta so now to find the second derivative of c uh, the derivative of cs we'll do d by ds cs and this basically will be the partial with respect to theta of cs and then we have d theta by ds and from our first video we know that uh, d theta by ds is 1 by the magnitude of c theta so this is where we are at now and now we have to just figure out what is the partial of cs with respect to theta so to do that what we'll do is uh, so now i'm just going to solve okay i'll do this d by d theta x theta y theta first i'm just writing the equation as it is and then this is x theta square plus y theta square so now as you see there are two components the i component and the j component so what the i component will look like is uh, i'll have to use the chain rule so first i'm taking the derivative of x theta and leaving this square root term as it is and by the way this is the i component so uh, so I'll close the bracket once I'm done and then the derivative of the square root so I leave the x theta as it is so for a square root I'll have the I will have to divide it by 2 and then it will be x theta square plus y theta square raised to 3 by 2 and then we actually have to differentiate within the square root so that would be 2 and then that would be x theta and then we actually take the derivative which is um, x theta theta and similarly we'll have y theta y theta theta so as you and this is the i component and there is also a j component which i am not writing here and then the whole thing is essentially multiplied by 1 by c theta this magnitude so uh, this is what we have and if we solve this a little further what we can say is if we want to take the common denominator here we'll have to multiply it by x theta theta x theta square plus y theta square and then we have here we can cancel out these twos and we have x theta square and we have x theta theta and this is in brackets so we have x theta y theta y theta theta and the whole thing is essentially divided by what we can call as c theta the whole cube and now we can what we can see is this factor here and this factor here they are common so those can be cancelled out and then we have uh, x theta theta y theta square minus x theta y theta y theta theta and of course this is only the i component there is also a j component and then the whole thing is divided by so i component plus some j component 
and then the whole thing is divided by 1 by c theta and so after this what we can do now is uh, we can essentially take the y theta out and what we have now is x theta theta plus y uh, sorry so what we have is we can take the y component out and we can get x theta theta uh, y y theta minus x theta y theta theta okay and this is the i component and we can basically guess what the j component is looking like we are not guessing we just have to interchange the y's and x's so that would be x theta y theta theta x theta minus y theta x theta theta j and then this whole thing is divided by sorry it's multiplied by 1 by the magnitude of c theta so now what we can do is we can write it like this y theta i minus x theta j upon c theta the magnitude of c theta and then we just have um, x theta theta y theta minus x theta y theta theta and by the way uh, we did not write one term here that's c theta magnitude times uh, the cube of that so that has to be your c theta cube so as you can see from the previous video this is our outward normal and this factor here it's basically called the curvature of a, of the function and uh, what you if you see the khan academy videos that i am linking uh, then you you can get an intuitive sense of this curvature and you can also uh, see uh, see that they reach the same formula that we have here for the curvature which is given by this oops sorry so that's the curvature and another way of representing it is what we can say this is essentially uh, given by excuse me c of theta and the cross product of that with c of theta theta And now we'll also like to get some intuitive sense of this curvature. And uh, again, uh, I do recommend the Khan Academy videos for that. Um, so what I am showing here is we have this curve and what the curvature is, it is basically at a given point. Uh, if we want to draw a circle which touches the, uh, which follows the curve and it touches it only at one point at that specific point so the point we are interested in in this one is here and here so we can see the circle uh, the radius of the circle will be different and this radius is given by rho and the actual the curvature is given by 1 by k so or we can say k is given by 1 by rho so if the circle is large the curvature would be small and if the circle is small the curvature would be large because it has an inverse relationship and as you can see uh, in this case uh, it turned out that both times this is inwards but it's also possible that we can get a curve where the curvature is actually facing outwards so for that let me see if this curve has an example like that so if you see at this point if we want to draw a similar circle then that circle would look something like this and so this is outward and in our the way we have 
frame this only in this case the curvature would be positive in this case uh, excuse me uh, in this case and this case the curvature would actually be negative and that doesn't make sense a lot like it doesn't make intuitive sense what is, does a negative curvature mean so a lot of times we'll see that the formula we derived uh, if uh, that's often like we get the uh, absolute value of that and that's what we use as curvature but remember that there is a sign uh, to the curvature and that can give you information on whether it's pointing outwards or inwards so that's all I had on curvature and do watch the other uh, Khan Academy videos to get a better intuitive sense. The purpose of this video doing it here was just to formulate it in the way that we'll be using it in the future level set videos. So thank you.